And away we go. It is the nightcap. Brought to you by BearcatJournal.com right here on BearcatJournal.com. Brought to you, as always, by Galactic Fried Chicken. Visit www.galacticfriedchicken.com. Download the app for Android, iPhone, everything Galactic. Use Uber Eats to get it delivered to your home or stop down in Dayton, Kentucky. Tell them to pump it up. Save yourself 15% off of your order. And remember, close for the rest of 2022 on Monday and Tuesday. Open Wednesday through Sunday at Galactic Fried Chicken. Hi, Aaron. You hi, 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 Chad. How you doing? Sorry, I'm I'm still still trying to get out of the using the mute all the time, like I had to do on a podcast the other day. Yeah, it is what it is. Some some pl- places are a little more they uptight a lot of, and yeah, they have a lot of a lot of rules. It produces an inferior product. Just be careful what you ask for is what I'll I'll warn folks. Um, not a lot of football today. And there's plenty going on. And there's right now. plenty going on right now. There's a bunch of Bearcats uh, in the preseason, but it's preseason football. Like, although I will say, Desmond Ritter threw a touchdown pass on a tight end flare, um, in the least surprising thing ever. You think also had, you think, also had some great runs? Yeah, do you think he was yeah. like, "I'm going to need this tight end action in the playbook uh, always." Um, he probably, if they didn't already have it there, he he's probably just put it in his teammates' playbook. Like, yeah, this is this is a thing. we're gonna we're gonna need. It was a little different than the one they normally run, but it was effectively still the same thing. Um, so let's talk. Uh, there's there's been a lot of speculation going around surrounding the NCAA tournament and. The future of what the tournament is going to look like. Florida Gulf Coast president or athletic director, one of the two, came out earlier in the week and said um, he believes long term auto bids will be going away. Uh, it'll, you know, it, the, the format will be a little bit different and different in that. Um, and here's what this all comes down to, Aaron. I'll, I'll cut the crap. Greg Sankey came out and kind of didn't confirm it, but also didn't deny that the tournament is going to be looking different. Brennick's making her podcast debut. Hi, Brennick. How you doing, sweetheart? She is. She's upstairs crying. She is. She is wondering where daddy is right now. The dog's barking. The baby's crying. We better get this done. Our pet's heads are falling off. We We better get this done before you get in trouble upstairs. You're already good enough at getting in trouble on your own. You don't need me facilitating more trouble. It's fairly accurate. (laughs) Um, Ultimately, what this comes down to, Aaron, is this. What is happening in the major conferences right now? They're growing, right? Yeah. And what happens when the people that make all the decisions are getting bigger? Uh, Well, when, when the conferences grow, they have to split money. So they want more money. So when you're splitting the money, you aren't it's sharing as not as, exactly. That's money's always part of it, but not it's exactly huge, huge part of it. Okay, but not not exactly. It's what happens game. when you have no? Here's the end game. What happens when you have 16 and 18 and 20 team conferences? Uh, you have a bunch of teams that are under 500. You have a bunch of teams that are going to have no shot mm-hmm. at making the NCAA tournament as currently constituted. So then, what happens? when the leadership of those conferences are the ones that are making the rules. Well, and I think it's funny that Sankey brought up that a last seed team in the uh, college world series won the whole thing in Mississippi. Um, and that's the, that's the hill he's willing to die on. As, right. With because all of this. yeah, it's look over here to distract from what's going on over here. And guess what? Classic smoke and mirrors. Mississippi is an sec team. Weird. So, of course, that's going to be his example. But the reality of this thing is, long term, they want to ensure that they're going to be able to get, if they have a 16-team conference, eight, nine, ten teams in the tournament. When you have three, four, 16, 18, 20-team conferences, they're not going to uh, accept having four, five, six teams in the NCAA tournament 
And the easiest way to handle that is to squeeze out the little guy. How well, do you squeeze out the little guy? You you try to appease them and you say, well, we're going to expand the tournament to, let's say, hypothetically, 80 teams. That's so dumb. But we're going to eliminate automatic qualifiers. So all awesome. you have to do is to play. get in. Be in the SEC or the Big Ten or one of the three schools that make it from all the other conferences. Right. Right now. And I, personally, I would prefer 64. 32 automatic I, qualifiers. I agree. I, I thought 68 32 was too 32 at-large teams. I mean, I don't mind 68. You add, you know. That's weird. Four games at the beginning. Teams that have played in have made the UCLA, McCronin. Played in, made the run to the final four. Like we've seen that happen. Um, but all of this is in an effort to control. That's where it comes back to what you were saying. All of this is in an effort to control the money. The money. Right. Because when you have an SEC team like, oh, I don't know, Kentucky, who loses to the Peacocks, that's not a good look. Right. And if they lost to DePaul, it still would look bad. But guess what? It's a team in the Big East. Kentucky had an off night. You know, it's a Big East team good enough to make the tournament. Anything can happen on any given night in basketball. That would be the argument. The argument when you, you're you Kentucky and you lose to St. Peter's is a much different conversation. A much different conversation. A, a conversation that leads Kentucky fans to say, maybe we don't, maybe we don't have the right guy running the program anymore. I think that's crazy but that's where those conversations go and what also will happen as these conferences grow Aaron the number of games that they play in conference is going to expand and what do all these conferences also have conference to conference uh challenges right and what do they also have MTEs where it's all power conference teams so what's going to decrease the ability for the teams outside of the power structure to get wins over teams inside the power structure because the power structure is controlling the scheduling. Here's the best fix. Don't add so many stupid teams to your stupid conferences. But that's Slow not down. how this works. It's dumb, man. Everything that we ever knew, like I, I find myself a traditionalist more and more as each passing oh, day goes by. You tried to fire everybody on the Reds earlier this week. Because they're not good. They're not good. I don't need any more Mike Minor innings, but we're not going to get into baseball tonight like I, what happened we, last night. We got yelled at last night. Um, but I, can we just leave something alone? Like As long as money is involved, no. The March Madness is the most pure thing that there is in sport right now. In in all of college sports, March Madness is probably Maybe in all the, of sports because the, the little guy gets a shot. St. Peter's can make a run to the Elite Eight. They have a puncher's chance as much as anybody. Right. But now we want to take that away. Because, because you, you, you all got too crazy and all these stupid teams to... Well, uh, we got to expand the Big Ten. We got to expand the SEC. Just stop. Just stop. We don't need they're, it. They're not I don't up. need. I don't need ten SEC teams in a tournament. But if the option is making fifty million dollars a year or making a hundred million dollars a year, they're all going to take a hundred million until people stop watching because they don't care. Because it's not you, the same. You never asked for a raise. Because it's not the same. It's not going to be the same. No one's going to care that Mississippi State's playing Georgia in a battle of the seven and 24 records for the, to go into the round of 124 teams left because everybody had to make it. They're, they're also, I think, and Mike DeCourcy mentioned this in his column on the matter. There's also some uneasiness because they see, remember, this is, this is also something that's important to remember when it comes to the NCAA tournament, the NCAA does not make money on football. They don't make a penny. Correct. It's always been that way. The schools yes. designed the system. That, no, never. It'll well, never happen. 
we'll see. We don't know what's going to happen. No, I'm telling you that will never happen. We don't know what's we at this point right now. We do not know what's going to happen after 2025. Aaron, because here's what the NCAA knows. Who, who's just gonna listen for a second? Listen for I know you get worked up. Listen for a second. You know what happens the minute that the NCAA says we want in? They get money. No, the schools say you're out, and we'll go make our own. I mean, we'll see what happens because I'm telling yeah. you what'll happen. I'm telling you right now, though. They no, you're gonna have the NCAA odds. has no power. Well, then you might you might not even have a championship because you're gonna have the Big Ten with Fox or NBC, CBS, ABC, whatever, whoever the hell they're with at this point, and you're gonna have the SEC with ESPN, yes. and never the two shall meet. Oh, they'll share the rights to the college football playoff because there's but it's only gonna billions be the, of dollars. It's, it's only going to be the two conferences paying each other because nobody else is going to be allowed into their stupid little party. I'm so sick and tired of this shit, man. Are you okay? No, I'm. I'm it's got, it's, it's you, getting this old. Week, this week you've got a lot of pent up. You've got you've ranted a lot this week. It's getting old. Like it's it's. The but it is blood, what it is. The blue bloods have to stay blue bloods. We can't let anybody into our exclusive party. Like it's it's getting old. It's not going to change. Well, I'm still allowed to be pissed about it. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily we make fi- a great. We finally concept. got into the Big Twelve, and they're like, "Yeah, we're only going to have two people at this party now." Well, have fun in your little. Mm. There'll be more than two people at the party because that's how content works. We'll see. They can't fill all of the content with the Big Ten and the SEC. They can't. I'm over. That's why the ESPN has. That's why ESPN has the ACC. That's why Fox will have a large chunk of. I think eventually the Big Twelve. Like it, you have to have. Now it might be four. <laughs> There's only four conferences that matter and and play for anything, or five if the Pac-12 manages to not die, but. The reality is they're not going to stop because there's money involved and they've gotten once, once the TV stuff really started to explode and the conference, the, the schools, not even the conferences, I, this goes well above and beyond the conferences, the schools started to realize, Oh, like we can stop dipping into the, the regular, funding from the school and athletics can be solvent and make their own money and not have to be subsidized or, or supported. Okay, let's do that. And the minute that started happening, the divide, the, the, the fault line was created and it's not going to stop. It'll never stop. You're so mad. I'm so mad. I should have talked about something else tonight, shouldn't I? I mean, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm, just, I'm just trying to have a rational conversation about the, yeah, I'm, the situation. I'm, I'm, I'm You're st- incapable listen, of that? I'm still mad about, I don't know, 25 minutes ago when I turn on the Falcons-Lions game and they're playing Pump It Up at the Lions game for every kickoff that they're doing. Because uh, that's a thing now that, you know, God forbid you let these little schools that you're not going to let into any parties have their own thing. Wow, that's the, the dumbest shit I've ever heard to be upset about. That's I'm, that's how you think you think Seven Nation Army didn't start the same way. Like one team played it, and then it caught on, and then it caught on, and then it caught I don't, on. I don't, I don't that's see anybody, how this. That's how it works. I don't see anybody else coming into uh, what is it? Enter Sandman. Like sure some schools, some, some schools have their things. Let some schools have their things. How do you think like this? Look, every song Cincinnati plays at the stadium started, except for like "Call Me Al." I'm, I'm, the band I'm not getting, plays. Not getting a lot of sleep these days. I'm mad about everything. I'm just saying. Brennix is upstairs crying. The dogs barking. The, the 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 tweens' heads are falling off. It's fine. Go play some video games. That's the nightcap. We'll see you tomorrow night to recap the scrimmage and uh, whatever else we uh, get into tomorrow on campus. This is the Nightcap, brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken, right here on BearcatJournal.com. See ya!